this is the first question from the chapter the portrait of a lady where down the question the grandmother was a kind hearted woman the grandmother was a kind hearted woman give examples in support of your answer the grandmother was a kind hearted woman the grandmother was a kind hearted woman give examples in support of your answer give examples in support of your answer down the grandmother was a kind hearted woman the grandmother was a kind hearted woman first stop on her way back from school on her way back from school comma on her way back from school comma she would she would feed the village dogs she would feed the village dogs with stale chapatis she would feed the village dogs with stale s t a l e with stale chapatis c h a p a t t i s with stale chapatis full stop in the city comma in the city comma when she could not move out in the city comma when she could not move out she took to feed the sparrows she took to feed sparrows she took to feed sparrows she took to feed sparrows that came and perched on her legs that came and perched on her legs comma shoulders and head she took to feed sparrows that came and perched on her legs shoulders heads comma shoulders and head okay so this goes your first answer am i clear to you am i clear comment me in the box am i clear to you or not shall i need to repeat shall i need to repeat students shall i need to repeat it shall i need to repeat the answer okay come to the next question this is very very important for you come to the next question a very important question this was the turning point in our friendship this was the turning point in our friendship full stop put it within quotation full stop put it within quotation this was the turning point in our friendship full stop put it within quotation what was the turning point what was the turning point this was the turning point in our friendship full stop quotation close what was the turning point what was the turning point write down the turning point in the friendship arrived the turning point in the friendship arrived the turning point in the friendship arrived when they shifted to the city the turning point in the friendship arrived when they shifted to the city full stop they saw less of each other they saw less elidavles they saw less of each other they saw less of each other they saw less of each other as she could neither accompany as she could neither accompany 
A double C O M P A N Y, as she could neither accompany him to school, as she could neither accompany him to school, comma, nor understand English, nor understand English. They saw less of each other as she could neither accompany him to school, comma, nor understand English. Full stop. She did not believe in science. She did not believe in science. She did not believe in science. Full stop. She could not keep pace. She could not keep pace. P A C E. She could not keep pace with the author's modern education. She could not keep pace with author's modern education because she could not able to accept the modern form of education. She could not keep pace with the modern with the author's modern education that he received in the city school. That he received in the city school that he received in the city school okay so this goes your second one uh, the turning point in the friendship arrived when they shifted to the city they saw less of each other as he could neither accompany him to school nor understand english even she did not believe in science she could not keep pace with the author's modern education that he received in the city school Okay, so is it clear to you? Is the answer clear to you? So this was the turning point of their friendship. Okay, is it clear, students? This question is very very important one from this chapter. Okay. Okay. Uh, come to the next question. Uh, draw a comparison between draw a comparison between the author's village school education and city school education draw a comparison between the author's village school education the author's village school education and city school education the author's village school education and city school education okay draw a comparison between the author's village school education and city school education okay that means we have to draw a difference write down the answer the village school was attached the village school was attached to a temple. The village school was attached to a temple. The village school were attached to a temple. And the students were taught and the students were taught the alphabet and morning prayers. The village school was attached to a temple. The village school was attached to a temple and the students were taught the alphabet and morning prayers. The alphabet and morning prayers. Full stop. The author and his grandmother. The author and his grandmother walked to the school in the village. The author and his grandmother walk together to the school in the village the author and his grandmother walked together to the school in the village first of however comma however comma in the city however comma in the city he went by the school bus however comma in the city, he went by the school bus. However, comma, in the city, he went by the school bus. Full stop. 
he was taught science and english he was taught science and english but not taught about god but not taught about god he was taught science and english but not taught about god full stop he also he was also taught music he was also taught music in the city school he was also taught music in the city school so this is the difference or uh, this is the comparison that the author draw between the village school and the city school okay so repeating the answer the village school was attached to a temple and the students were taught the alphabet and morning prayers the author and his grandmother walked together to the school in the village however in the city he went by the school bus he was taught science and english but not taught about god he was also taught music in the city school so this is the difference between the village one and the city school so any question any queries from this question any queries Okay, come to the next question. Come to the next question. What was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother? Let me inform you, those who are joining late right now, we are just discussing and I am dictating the question answers from the first chapter, that is the portrait of a lady by Kushwan Singh. Okay, these are all the important sample question answers I am dictating with you. Okay. come to the next question what was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother what was these are all two marks question okay sort of the type questions what was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother my next question is what was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother as we have completed all the chapters now we have started to discuss and i will dictate all the important sample question answers from each and every chapter okay you will get all the exercise question but outside the exercise question i will give you some important sample questions that you are going to write keep a notebook with you to note down all the question answers what was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother write down the answer the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother in the city the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother in the city was when she was was when she was feeding the sparrows was when she was feeding the sparrows full stop they parched p e r c h e d they parched on her legs comma shoulders and head they parched on her legs comma shoulders and head but she never shoot them away but she never shoot s a w o e d okay but she never shoot them away is very easy what was the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother the happiest moment of the day for the grandmother in the city was when she was feeding the sparrows they passed on her legs and so legs shoulders and head but she never shoot them away okay come to the next question mm, what was the last sign what was the last sign s i g n what was the last sign of physical contact between the author and the grandmother what was the last sign of physical contact between the author and grandmother 
what was the last sign of physical contact between the author and grandmother this is the question this is the next one what was the last sign of physical contact between the author and the grandmother write down the answer the author was going abroad for 5 years the author was going abroad for 5 years the author was going abroad the author was going abroad the author was going abroad for 5 years full stop his grandmother kissed his grandmother kissed his forehead his grandmother kissed his forehead full stop he presumed he presumed p r e s u m e d he presumed that this as the last sign of physical contact between them he presumed that this as the last sign of physical contact between them presumed p r e s u m e d he presumed that this as the last sign of physical contact between them full stop he feared he feared f e a r e d he feared that she would not survive he feared that she would not survive till he returned she would not survive till he returned since he was going away for 5 years since he was going away for 5 years give full stop the answer is completed here okay any confusion students shall i need to repeat shall i need to repeat any confusion shall i need to repeat shall i need to repeat the answer Shall I need to repeat the answer right now? Okay. Okay. Come to the next question. Everybody, including the sparrows, everyone, including the sparrows, mourn the grandmother's death. Elaborate. Give full stop. Write down. Elaborate. This is a very important question. Everybody, including the sparrows, mourn. M O U R N E D. Mourn the grandmother's death. Full stop. Elaborate. Okay. These are all two marks. Short answer type question answers. Everybody, including the sparrows, mourn the grandmother's death. Full stop. Elaborate. Write it down. when the grandmother died comma when the grandmother died comma thousands of sparrows collected thousands of sparrows collected and sat in the courtyard thousands of sparrows collected and sat in the courtyard c o u r t y a r d Full stop. There was no chirping. There was no chirping. There was no chirping. C H I W R U I P U P I N G. C H I W R U P I N G. There was no chirping. Full stop. When the author's mother threw some bread crumbs for them. When the author's mother threw some bread crumbs for them. After full stop, write down. When the author's mother threw some bread crumbs for them, comma, they took no notice of the bread crumbs. They took no notice of the bread crumbs. When the author's mother threw some bread crumbs, b r e a d c r u m b s, bread crumbs for them, comma, they took no notice. of the bread crumbs full stop they were full of grief they were full of grief at her death they were full of grief at her death 
and flew away they were full of grief at her death and flew away quietly after the cremation and flew away quietly after the cremation c r e m a t i o n so with this i will end up the class now here in my next class i would like to continue with this chapter because few questions are also left okay till then if you are facing any confusion any problem you can tell me so nirmal you are too early to join here you are too early to join here so those who are present throughout the class only you will only get the attendance those who have joined right now i can give you are too early to join here so give your attendance in the comment box those who are present give your attendance in the comment box those who are present give your in the comment box in the next class